I've been speaking to a couple of you and you have forgotten how to use a breadboard, which is slightly worrying considering you only learnt it last year. But I will go through again um, the basics of putting a circuit on a breadboard. Uh, I've got here a PDF, um, or I'm not trying to write over a PDF, which I'm not sure how much success I'm going to have with this, to be honest with you, but I'll give it a whirl. Okay, first thing to do is connect the power to the breadboard. Um, what you need to do is connect, uh, already got the wrong tool, apologies for that. Um, I'm just going to go on to a different tool, um, just so you know it is a cable. And that should be the high. You should also put the low uh, on that. And so on the same terminal, the neighboring terminal, put the low. And what I'll do is I'll just do a little. So we've got the low there. And then I'm just going to change my color. And we've got the high here. And they're going to, as you can see, um, this side of the circuit. Okay, so now we've got all of those uh, those holes. What is that? 25 holes on the right hand side of the blue line. They're all going low, and then we've got those 25 holes on the left hand side of the red line. They're all going high. Right. What we also need to do is connect um, the other parts of the board. And so to do that, um, what am I on red? We need to connect that one to that one, of course. And so now we've got the whole of that side going high, but we don't have the whole of that side going low. So we're also going to do the same on the other side, because in just two ticks, what we're going to do is we're going to connect sides together. Okay, so the other thing we're going to do is from here to here in a very straight line, we're going to connect it, and then we're going to go from here here. So now you can see you've got both highs and lows connected on both sides of the board. Um, what you do next, I suppose, is you put in uh, your programming port, your information port. Um, uh, I'll try and draw in uh, a genie. Uh, I wonder if I can draw a shape. Rectangle. That looks quite good. I usually go from, from this row here, this um, pin 15. I don't suppose we've spoken about that, have we? So just so, I'm going to do this in green, just so it's not, a, if you don't mistake it for a wire. But just as all of these dots here on the left-hand side of that red line are connected, and then the same um, in regards to the neighboring dots are connected, uh, you've got these rows. So row one is connected like that, and then it's connected like that. And the idea with that is that you can put one component from your bus rails, that's what they're called, the bus rails, going to that row and then you can jump over, be it with a component or even a cable and then you can jump over again to um, to the other side of the bus rail. I'm just looking out the window because the kids are making a lot of noise and I'm just going to try and, try and calm them down a bit. Well, I don't think that worked. Anyway, you can see that those rows are connected together. Um, what else are we going to do? We're going to try and draw that genie in. I'm not going to draw the legs of the genie in because uh, it doesn't work very well for, for doing that sort of thing. But uh, I'm going to change my color and I'm going to put it in black. I like to go from row 15. And we have to go down to what, row 22? It's all right, isn't it? To be quite honest with you, I don't know if I can pull it out a little bit. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Okay, so that would be my genie. I'm sorry it's got a, a red line around the outside. Um, but my genie would be in there from row 15 to row 22 with its um, seven legs on each side. So which ones go where? Well, given that this is, that that's, that's pin one, and that is pin 14. And of course, it's different. Some of you are using Genie 20s and all sorts. You know, it's different for all of those. Um, well, then, just got to change my tool. Then, oh, on the wrong color. This one will be going high. Mm. 
for that one be going low. Um, and then what we would do is we would uh, have the inputs on this side, as you know. Um, in addition to that, what else do you need to do? Well, you've got your information port, which, um, I mean, I, I can give it a whirl if you like. Uh, looks something like... It looks something like this, and it's got three uh, three legs sticking out the back, hasn't it? So, no, it's not liking that very much, too, is it? Um, So uh, it's got one leg there, one leg there, and one leg there. Um, that top leg, and that is given that you're you're plugging in your jack from this side. That top leg is your programming port. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's your programming port. That needs to go to pin two, but it needs to go through a, a 22k resistor. Um, and so if we're going to draw that in, uh, let me just have a, have a little think about how we're going to do this. Um, let's draw your resistor in like that. Uh, I'm just going to... I think I'm going to just delete that. So that'd be your 22k resistor. I seem to be drawing all sorts of stuff here, which I really don't want to do. So I think I'm going to get off of that tool and just go to the normal drawing tool. So you'd have like a resistor here. Um, I'm going to change my color as well. Uh, and that would be going down to uh, that row which is row 16 that needs to come up to a row um, and it needs to go low through another resistor to um, the bus rail that low bus rail so if that's the programming port then we need a cable running from this programming the information port Going into here, going into that that row uh, row nine, I think that is. Um, we've got another cable. Going to row sixteen, um, and that is the status. Can you see that I've gone under there, guys? I've gone under there, um, and the final one is the low the information port and that's this one and that should be going to the low here oh, don't know what's happening there. okay so that's your information port wired up with your status from the middle going to pin 16 um on the right hand side of the genie we've also got the programming port going down through a 22k I will try and write that on, but it's not liking it all of a sudden. It wants to highlight everything. Let's just see. No. Oh. no that just looks ridiculous. Okay, so that red resistor is a 22K. Um, that other resistor is a 100K. All right. I hope that helps a little bit. Um, yeah, you should really know this. And you, you know that these, on the left-hand side, we've got the inputs. On the right-hand side, we've got the outputs. I think it's um, D, or so it's actually A, isn't it? You know, A0 um, or D0 is one of the analog, and then we've got A4 uh, or D4 is the other analog input, and the rest of them, D1, 2, and 3, are all digital. Um, and then we actually have Q0 and shares the same pin as the status pin, and then we've got Q0 to Q5 um, at the bottom. All right.
Hope that makes sense.